Well, the Pineapple Express is returning to the province of British Columbia. This was the one on satellite in early December. We potentially have a couple more to deal with. That one brought anywhere from 72 millimeters of rain at the Coquihalla Summit to over 130 Kennedy Lake, western Vancouver Island. Now, I'm not forecasting anything like the catastrophic atmospheric river event of November 2021. Look at that trajectory of that one. Southern Vancouver Island really streaming and funneling into the Fraser Valley upwards of 300 millimeters of rainfall. This is what the computer model showed leading up to that event. And this is what the computer models are showing for our January 2023 event. More of a central Vancouver Island flavor. Sea to sky corridor. There is a lot of model guidance suggesting over 200 to 300 millimeters of rain for the hardest hit regions. And unfortunately, it's going to obliterate our modest snowpack in and around the Vancouver Island mountain range and the coastal mountain range. That freezing level nearly three kilometers above the surface that will force some ski resorts to regrettably close. There's Sunday evening Pineapple Express number one. Tuesday early next week, get a little bit of a break before this atmospheric river event and that strong jet stream really aims towards western Vancouver Island once again. And it's no picnic through this upcoming weekend. Moist frontal systems move in, but that first big one Sunday evening into Monday morning and then that next one Tuesday evening into Wednesday. But by the time you start to add up some of these astronomically high rainfall amounts, Tofino it's pushing close to half a meter of rainfall to finish off January. Downtown Vancouver, 100 to 150, but Sunshine Coast, we're forecasting potentially as much as two to 300 millimeters of rainfall. And oh yeah, the temperatures into the low to mid-teens early next week.